let's take a look at uh, the setup. So we know to use supply, demand lines, and market profile. That's the only two leading indicators we need to use when we're trying to get long or short any market, any futures, currency, stocks, indexes, even works on options. So the short today, we had the control point right at that level. So this was the nice break retest short. Some of you posted you got that short. So what we want to do, we want to use market delta to pull us in. So here was our level. Our moving averages were already in a downtrend. Our trend box is red in a downtrend. We had speed boxes showing we're going down. So what we need to do is we need to break through. Welcome back to Squawk Box. The futures right now have the market come profile back, level. Back Remember, we, we only want to trade off two things. So support resistance is generated by two things. One, we want to trade off market profile. Been working since 1985. And two, we want to trade off our supply demand lines. The only two support and resistance levels we need because they are leading indicators. These two indicators are actually the order flow in the market, meaning it shows where the accumulation distribution is, and it's not a lagging indicator. It's not a moving average. This is actually order flow. All the algorithms, hedge funds, prop firms, etc., going into the market and give, spitting out support and resistance. So we just need to trade off of these two levels. That's the only two indicators we need to use. We have three market profile levels. We have the high value area. We have HVA, high value area, which is red, LVA, which is green, low value area. And then we have the blue control point. That's the most volume that's traded. That's the only, only three levels we need to trade off on market profile. The supply demand lines, very simply, they are the previous accumulation distribution of the previous days where the market had paused and shows a, a lot of accumulation distribution. So these are the only two leading indicators. These are leading indicators. They're not lagging. We know it way ahead of time. Sometimes you'll have 30 minute heads up, an hour heads up, 15 minute heads up. In other words, you're not flying by the seat of your pants trying to find out where to buy and sell. These are the two leading indicators we need to use. That's it. In the room. They will generate these trades like this. All right? There's your entry. Then what we need to do is we need to look for market delta to pull us in. So we need market delta to pull us in after we break through this level. So the moving averages were down. So the first thing you do, the first order of business is find the trend. The market can only do two things. It's not very difficult. It's either trending, meaning we're going vertical, which is trending, which we're doing today. Or we're flat, which is range. That's all it can do. It can't do anything else. It's either going to trend up and down, go vertical, or it goes sideways. So we need to find the trend first. Before we even look at supply and demand or market profile, they're irrelevant to me. i got to get my mind right. I got to know if I'm going vertical in the market, which is trending, or if I'm flat in a range market. Because if I'm flat in a range market, we're going to sell the high, buy the low of HV and LVA on the first and second test. So A. If I'm flat, meaning moving averages are horizontal and sideways, flat or range, MAs, 
just flat or sideways. If that's the case, we sell HVA and buy LVA on the first and second test. So that's in a flat market. Typically the market will trend three days of the week on any given market and chop two days of the week or vice versa. It will chop three and trend two. So that's A as a flat range market or B we're in a trend market today. Trend markets are very easy because we know the exact level to pull the trigger because we use our what? Our market profile supply demand lines. So B is trend market. Trend markets, MAs are angled, and trend box is all red or all green. If that's the case, Then we look for break, retest trades off of market profile and supply demand lines. Very simple. If we're flat, we sell the high, we buy the low, wait for a breakout. If we're trending, we let the supply demand lines break and look for a retest, look for market delta entry. Look for market profile to break, retest, market profile entry. It's got to come within two ticks though. These are very, very accurate levels. It's got to come within two ticks, not five, six, seven, eight ticks away. These are very, very accurate. It's got to come within two ticks or we do not enter the market. All right, so the first thing you got to do is you got to find the trend. Are we flat? Are we trending? Are we going vertical? Or are we trending? I mean, trending meaning going vertical or are we going or in a range market. So if we're flat, the MAs are flatter sideways. We sell HVA and buy LV on the first and second test. On trend markets, the MAs are angled and the trend box is all red or all green. That's our trend filter. We look for break retest trades off market profile and supply demand lines only. The trigger, the entry trigger will be market delta. And that's an imbalance between the bid and the ask. Because not only do I want to be on a supply and demand line for all trades, no matter what market you look at, I want the market to pull me in with triggering in on market delta. So we know we only trade off a of market profile and supply demand lines. We don't need, there's thousands of indicators out there, thousands and thousands and thousands of indicators. Every indicator works once. And then 99.9% .9 of indicators I found are absolutely worthless. If you get it for free with TradeStation or if it's free for NinjaTrader or free for Thinkorswim, it's probably worthless because everybody has them and they're lagging indicators. The only thing we can do is we can track the market using strictly volume coming in the market, order flow. This is not my opinion. It's not your opinion. It's actually what's actually coming in the market. These are electronically traded markets. These are not pit traders on the floor anymore in the 1980s and 70s and early 90s where the pit traders are buying and selling, creating order flow. These are strictly electronically traded markets, period. So they leave their footprint. When they leave their footprint, now we have the advantage over some of these top institutional traders, et cetera, because we are smaller players. We can move in and out of these markets relatively easy. With these big institutions got to trade, you know, hundreds of thousands of shares or millions of shares, they can't just trade big blocks, not unless they do dark pool blocks. They do trade dark pool blocks. But other than that, they can't show. It's very difficult for them to get in outside of the market. So 
market profile has been around since 1985. That shows us the exact level where the supply and demand levels of order flow coming in the market are generated. The, the supply demand lines are generated from previous accumulation distribution. So this is our big level today, the control point. So when we broke through, you want to let it break through. You want to come back up. You want to turn back because the move, uh, the trend was down. You want to turn green, market delta. These are counter trend traders getting in. These are the novice traders, the amateur traders. The traders we like to prey on are the traders that like to counter trend trade the market. A lot of traders counter trend trade the market, which we love. Creates order flow for us. Once it retests this level, you cannot close the body of the candle above the level. Wait for a red market delta or a red Renko bar. We have our own Renko bar in place. And there's there was your sell. Your live fill on the S&P as a low of that bar is 33.74 and a quarter. Your stop loss is two ticks above this swing high. You can see my moving average I have in here. It pretty much trailed all the way down to a closed above it at 59 and a quarter. So we just had a run from 74 and a quarter down to 54 and a quarter. So a 20 point S&P run. An 80 tick potential trade setup based upon break retest the control point. But that's how we do it. This is it. We use market profile and supply demand lines to find our break retest trades with trend. And we use market delta as our entry. These are three of the top indicators that you're going to find in the market. In fact, when I was out in Las Vegas, a guest speaker two years ago, over 6,000 traders around the world. I asked him if they knew anything about market profile. Only a couple people, I think it was one or two, raised their hand out of the whole group. And I had a, a huge showing. I asked traders who heard about market delta. No one raised their hand. I asked who heard about stochastics and moving averages. Everybody raised their hand, right? Because they're worthless. You got to trade order flow. Market profile has been around 85 since 85. It shows it leaves its footprint of the market. It left its footprint on the control point right here for us way before it even happened. We even had a short up here. This is where Tina got short. Good job, Tina. Excellent trade. She got short right up here at the 80 level. It's even a better fill. But this shows you order flow. So what you can do is on your own charts, you can actually draw these lines that print on the screen and put it on your market delta. Then you can clearly see when it break retest, there's your entry. And if you want to put an alert on here, you can put an alert, draw your line on there, and put an alert. Ninja Trader has an alert where it hits that line. It alerts you. Trade alert, trade alert. You can put all these supply demand lines that print on your market delta to show you. All right. So let's go left to right then. Let's look at this real quick. These are the supply demand lines. Here's a break retest the first trade. Break retest trade right there. That got the market moving down pretty good. But it likes to go from supply line to demand line. Supply line to demand line. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to find the break retest on these smaller time frames here. Here. Because remember, this is a larger time frame. You're not, not going to see the retest. You're going to see the retest over here in the smaller time frame on market delta. Here's a short too. Here's a pause in the market. That's another short. So these are short, short, short counter trend traders. Another counter trend traders coming in. Thank you. Short. 
So the larger time frames show you you want to look for retest off these levels. These levels are printed over here. These uh, I have the numbers for you on this indicator. We're trying to buy and sell. So right now we're in a downtrend, right? We're in a downtrend. The MAs are down. Our trend box is down. So if we're looking for trend, there's only two things you need to understand about trend. Moving averages are absolutely worthless. They're terrible for crossover trades. Usually when a move average cross, crosses over, it goes the other way, the price, because the amateur traders don't understand that. They work great for trend. They'll kill you in chop. But I use them for angled for trend direction. If they're angled down, then I'm looking for shorts only, only if my trend box is red. Look at my underlying trend box. Red, 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 red. So if you bought anything since midnight on the S&P, you're totally wrong. You're absolutely going against the market, and you deserve to get stopped out. You deserve to be with the novice traders, the counter trend traders. You deserve to lose because what you're doing is you're essentially telling yourself that you're smarter than the market. I'm not smarter than the market. I know I'm not. So I developed the trend box to keep my mind right. My mind right, if it's all red trend boxes and these moving averages are down, we're shorting the market on every break retest on these, on these supply demand lines, every market pro profile break retest. That's what we're doing because we're going with the market. Every time a counter trend trader comes in and, pre and presses this back up, pushes it back up right here, pushes it back up against our resistance, short it. Pushes back up against resistance right here, the level. Short it. Press up against it. Short it. You're short bias. So you keep doing that with the overall trend of the market. Okay? So this is a large time frame. This is 9 Simrenko. We can't see the break retest over here, right? It's just they're too big. It's too big a time frame. What we can do is see the levels. Just like over here in the market profile, overlay the supply demand lines over top the market profile level. This is a huge level right there at 75 and a half. Huge. Look, it broke the control point, retested in a downtrend. So this big green level, this big blue level, and this big red level, those are the most important levels of trade off market profile. And then look at this gap in the market. Well, there's no support on the S&P from 70 all the way down to, to 60. You had 10 point potential on the S&P. I had nothing in front of me at all. It cleared all market profile levels. It cleared all supply demand levels. Huge gap in the market. We're not trading for a point to two points, risking a point to two points. Those are scalpers. Let them trade all day long. Let them risk all their money to only make one or two S&P points. We're going for the 10 point S&P plays. Risking two ticks above the swing high or swing low with on a three sim, that's around $120 per one contract. So we need to look at trying to get into break retest trades off the supply demand line. Now down here, market delta. I have two market deltas. I have one that's a larger market delta, larger time frame. This is a five Simrenko. This isn't as choppy. It's pretty smooth. You can see that we had a short here on, a short here, short here, pretty smooth. It got back inside. This is where the demand line was down here. It had a W bottom. Now we're trending back up. Buyers, 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 all the way back up. Buyers start coming in at what, 59. We're all the way up to 67. It's bounced eight S&P points off my market delta. <clears throat> so that is a five Simrenko. If I go over here to my smaller Rinko, I have a smaller Rinko bar also. It's still the same type of scenario though. Because this one will show the same type of entry, just a smaller stop. You'll see more retracements as you can see. You'll see more retracements. So here. As we were green all the way up, see, notice this, we were green all the way up on the 5 sim, green all the way up. So what you can do on the 3 sim when you're trending hard up, you can pop in right here. Because look, 
my five sim is nothing but green bars all the way up. So a little way you can play it is if I got all green bars, I can wait for retracement on a smaller time frame, and I can pop in right here if I got support and resistance off of a demand line. So if I if I go right through a demand or supply line and my five sims all red or all green, I can look at my three to pop in for a nice continuation. All right, so we use supply demand lines. And this works on all markets. It gives you the critical levels where the market's going to break. But you can't see the retest lines here. I mean, this is a pretty good retest you can see right here. Break, retest. But if it's just going red, red, red right through them, red, 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 then what you can do is use market delta to look for the retest. Put them right on there. Put your lines right on these lines right on market delta. Okay, now we're looking for another retest. I'm up, up against 67, 67 and three quarters. So what I can do is I can put my line in. Remember, you got a big heads up on this. This thing's been on there for 24 hours. Right there. So what I want to do is I want to watch for negative market delta. So it's very leading. It's not fast trading. I'm waiting for negative market delta right here for a possible continuation. Now, if it turns negative market delta, and I'm looking for another short right here, if it turns negative market delta, here's a possible short as we speak. If it turns negative market delta, it has to close. If it closes there, and we'll put 67 and 3 quarters on the other one too. If it, if it goes right through it, by a body of the candle, you'll want to wait till it goes back down below it, retest it, and then get negative market delta. You don't want to close a body of the candle above support and resistance. You want to see it turn negative market delta. You want to see it straddle right here, turn negative market delta, right as we speak, on these two levels to get a short. So I want to see a negative market delta and come off this old demand line, which becomes a new supply line. And I got big resistance. If it wants to go higher to my market profile, I do have resistance 70 and a quarter. That's another shot you can take. But we should reverse right here. If it wants to get negative market delta, we should reverse at resistance because I got resistance at 67 and three quarters. And I've got my developing profile right here also. We should reverse at this level. So all we need now is we're not going to guess at it though. We see we got resistance here. We got supply to my supply line at 67 and three quarters and we have our developing profile at 68 this thin green line that's developing so I got two times resistance right now one market profile one supply line but it's got to show me but that's not enough for me I want to see an imbalance between the bid and the ask pull me in the trade you gotta pull me in the trade if that happens you have a sell set up as we speak if it goes through and just continues green, 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 my next level would be right there, 33.70 and a quarter. That's my LVA. But it should reverse here because I got market profile and I've got my and I've got my supply line. All right. So when you run trades like this, it's it's easy to see these setups because we're only trading off two indicators. We're only trading off supply lines, supply demand lines, and market profile. That's it. And it's not fast trading because this gives you a big heads up. It gives you a 30-minute heads up. These lines over here have been on here for 48 to 24 hours. This is not like it, it generates off of a tick chart, a 233 tick or, you know, some crazy charts that are short term this is this is a larger time frame it's getting the big supply demand in the market so what we want to do then is we want to use the supply demand lines and market delta I mean supply demand lines and market profile to find these support and resistance levels that's what we're trying to do okay